Hello, this is Dr. Todd Harris. Uh, I'm going to walk you through some of the materials that we use for a fibroid embolization. Um, we really don't want women to be intimidated. Um, it's certainly very minimally invasive and non-surgical. So as you can see on our back table, and this is what we would be using for embolization, there's really minimal instrumentation. There's some catheters and wires. The most important uh, material that we use is what's called a sheath, and you'll see how this is used in a minute, but that's the the largest uh, cut or puncture that a woman's going to have. We start off by giving a little bit of numbing medicine, which is uh, given through that syringe right there. It's an extremely small needle. Um, once the skin is numb, what we're going to do is we're going to take a small needle. We're going to insert that needle into the artery in the groin. We make a tiny little puncture with that scalpel, just large enough to get that needle in. And then ultimately, we put a wire through that needle and once the wire goes through the needle, that wire will be inside the actual artery there in the groin. The needle is removed. And then the sheath, which you saw a few seconds ago, is fed over that wire and into the artery. So that's the largest diameter cut, or as we call a puncture, that you're going to have for the entire treatment. Once that sheath is in place, the inner part of the sheath is going to be removed along with the wire. And that's all that's going to be left inside of a patient or of a woman during a fibroid embolization is that sheath right there. So once that sheath's in place, what we do is we feed a little catheter that has a small angle on it um, in through the sheath. And so that'll go in and then into the artery there. And once that's uh, in the sheath, we actually put a wire through the other end of that catheter. And that's going to help us navigate the catheter into the area that we want to be in. So what you're going to see here is the wire going through the catheter, the catheter going through the sheath. And we can actually spin this wire because the wire has a little angle to it. So it's kind of tough to see. It's extremely small. But you can see, and I'll put it up against a white background here, um, you can actually see that wire spinning around. So we can direct that wire how we want to try to get into the artery that's needed. And then you can actually spin that blue catheter as well. So you have sort of a, a 360 degree degree range of motion there to try to get the catheter into the artery. And the goal is obviously to get the catheter into the arteries that feed the uh, fibroid from the left and the right side. Once we're into those arteries, we use a little bit of contrast, which you see here. We uh, inject that through the catheter, and that contrast will light up the artery uh, so that you, we can see exactly uh, where the blood flow is. So it's really as simple as that, uh, you know, once the catheter is in place, we take the contrast, um, we inject the contrast through the catheter, um, the contrast will squirt out through the end of the catheter, similar to that, showing us exactly where the fibroids are, and then we shut down the blood supply. So that's it, and I hope that helped a little bit understanding about how we do a fibroid embolization. Certainly with any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Um, feel free to give our office a call, and we look forward to meeting you.